On behalf of Sean and Rebecca, I would like to welcome you all to the Orangery, which has been duly sanctioned according to law for the celebration of marriage. You have all been invited here to celebrate with Sean and Rebecca, to witness their marriage and the promises they will make to one another. Marriage is a commitment to life in which two people can find and bring out the best in each other. When two people promise to love and care for each other in marriage, they create a union unique to themselves, which binds them closer than any spoken or written words. You have all been invited here to celebrate with Sean and Rebecca, to witness their marriage and the promises they will make to one another. Marriage is a commitment to life in which two people can find and bring out the best in each other. When two people promise to love and care for each other in marriage, they create a union unique to themselves, which binds them closer than any spoken or written words. Sean, do you take Rebecca to be your lawful wedded wife? Do you promise to be not only her husband, but also her best friend, to be loving and faithful to her for the rest of your life? I do. Rebecca, do you take Sean to be your lawful wedded husband? Do you promise to be not only his wife, but also his best friend, to be loving and faithful to him for the rest of your life? I do. I declare that. I declare that. I know of no legal reason. I know of no legal reason. Why I, Sean Joseph Stapleton. Why I, Sean Joseph Stapleton. May not be joined. May not be joined. In marriage. In marriage. To Rebecca Alexandra Holdcroft. To Rebecca Alexandra Holdcroft. I declare that. I declare that. I know of no legal reason. I know of no legal reason. Why I, Rebecca Alexandra Holdcroft. Why I, Rebecca Alexandra Holdcroft may not be joined may not be joined in marriage in marriage to Sean Joseph Stapleton to Sean Joseph Stapleton i Sean Joseph Stapleton i Sean Joseph Stapleton take you take you rebecca alexandra holdcroft rebecca alexandra holdcroft to be my wedded wife to be my wedded wife and rebecca will you say to Sean i rebecca alexandra holdcroft i rebecca alexandra holdcroft take you Take you, Sean Joseph Stapleton. Sean Joseph Stapleton, to be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. Are 
I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. And a symbol of my love. And a symbol of my love. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. And a symbol of my love. And a symbol of my love. Sean and Rebecca, you have given your marriage vows and promises to each other in front of everyone here. And it is my great pleasure to announce that you are now married. Congratulations. Would you like to share a kiss? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, and those still deciding, it, it gives me great pleasure to get rid, give my blessing to Rebecca in marriage of her and Sean. The growing years have gone by, which have been filled with ups and downs and many wonderful times. Sean, on the other hand, When she mentioned he was a rugby player, I said, fine. That's not what's written here. <laughs> but there's so many rugby players in the room, I'm not going to risk it. <laughs> At a certain angle, and in good light, and from a distance, <laughs> he's not too ugly. It has, to be, it has to be said. I do know he has a great sense of humour and always makes me laugh or groan, depending on the quality of the joke. <laughs> he now plays golf, when allowed, <laughs> rather than run, running around a muddy field, getting knocked over and stamped on. I was also pleased that he was fully aware of the fact that Rebecca may, on very rare occasions, become emotional, <laughs> and even perhaps shed a tear or two. Comforting to know that he will be there for her with tissues and something with chocolate in it before he runs off to play golf. <laughs> Which is good for him, given the fact that when Rebecca went to a pistol firing range in America, they told her she was an excellent shot for a beginner. Um, uh, together with the fact that Rebecca has watched so many crime documentaries, if Sean were to go missing, they wouldn't even find a fingernail. <laughs> <laughs> Worth bearing in mind, young man. <laughs> but seriously, I wish them the very best in the future. I love my family to the moon and back. And for what I know of Sean, I know she'll be in safe hands. First of all, from me and my wife. Uh, thank you all for coming. Uh, it's been such a special day. Um, as I said to the few of the guys before, it's so humbling to have all your friends and family in one room um, who are there to support you and wish nothing but good things for you. So it's really special for myself and Rebecca. So on that note, thank you all so much. Um, obviously, we can't go much further without saying how beautiful she looks. Uh, 
I was panicking uh, up at that altar waiting for you to come in, but when I turned around, the, I was just tearing up really because you look so special and amazing. So I'm a very lucky man. You're the most beautiful woman I know, um, and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. So to Rebecca. Um, myself and Rebecca getting together, um, she had no wedding date for uh, Dr. Yvonne and Katie's wedding in Sri Lanka. So we actually have Katie to thank for us being together because she swiped right on Tinder for me. So I don't know how this has worked out, but it, thank you very much. Um, obviously, Rebecca's family um, means so much to me. Uh, I remember when I first called over to the house uh, and we had a kind of a salad out in the garden and <laughs> Jerry was talking about somebody who had shingles. And I started singing all the shingle ladies, and he just started pissing us off and laughing. So I thought, this is the kind of humor I like, I'm going to stay here for a bit. You know? uh, when, when I first met Janet, we met in Gibson's farm shop. Uh, she was this quiet little sheepish lady in the corner, and I bought her a hot chocolate with marshmallows. Uh, and we've now gone into the point where I say something silly, and she goes, oh, shut up, Sean. So our, our relationship has grown uh, strongly in the last six years. So. Lastly, for me, thanks to all of you again. Um, it's such a special day, honestly, to see you all here, it just warms my heart. Um, I'm not really one for getting emotional, but to see you all here it is really special. So from my wife and I, my beautiful wife and I, thank you all so much, and let's have a hell of a party after this, yeah? So, crack on. I haven't actually written anything down um, because I thought it would be quite easy to talk about Sean and Rebecca, to be honest. So I live in Australia and um, I came home last year and Sean asked me if I would be a groomsman for his wedding and I actually thought he was taking the piss at the start, didn't I? We were in a taxi. We'd been, on a, we'd been to a few pubs in Faversham and he, he said in the back of the taxi, he said, Johnny, would you, would you, would, would you, do? and I just said, I, Sean, like, <laughs> and it wasn't until in the morning, I think you were in the shower, I don't know where you were, but it was Rebecca and downstairs in the living room said, um, oh, did, did, did Sean speak to you last night? And so, inadvertently, they both told me, but I didn't believe either of them, so. Sean, I've known you for a little bit longer, but Rebecca, I mean, you've been super, super lovely, super kind. Um, couldn't have really dreamt of a better person for Sean to be with, to be honest. You've, you're just, you're wonderful, really. You are, you're great, and I'm so happy that you guys are together. So in that sense, thanks to both of you guys for having me stay with you. Aside from all of that, from the bottom of my heart, I just want to say thank you to you guys for having me here. Sean, thank you for asking me to be a part of this. Genuinely one of the proudest moments of my life. Um, you would have seen that when we had a, a look at each other when Rebecca was walking in, a couple of tears and whatnot, so um, no shame in saying that. It was one of the proudest moments of my life and I'll forever be indebted to you for that. Thank you very much and that's all for me. Cheers.